Hey everybody, this bee's been buzzing around here. I got a million different projects I'm working on. So uh, today I'm doing some landscaping. Um, I just picked up some gardenia bushes. They're the frost proof kind. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant those in front of the house. Uh, I've been working on the, the van a lot here. I got an upcoming video on that. So you'll see, you'll see how it got there uh, soon enough. Um, probably another, Probably another week from when this video is released. Um, got this project going on right now. So getting my mowers ready and all that for the season. So just undercoated and painted this, put some new blades on the deck. I didn't even show you guys. I got a little craftsman, a little craftsman rider. Uh, this one specifically actually to do my neighbor's property. Um, my, my zero turns too big for his property and it's too much to maintain for a couple jobs, but I picked this one up. Steering shaft was, uh, stripped out on it. So I got a new one coming UPS any day now. So I'll be working on that, but this is a 21 horse craftsman. Uh, it's been well taken care of. Um, just the gear stripped out and it needs a little maintenance on that deck. Uh, nothing nothing too big, but been working on that a little bit today getting that going and then uh, got the old Ford out today So we just went to the nursery and picked up some Of those gardenia bushes. I had a hard time picking out what I wanted, but I knew that these would be uh, hardy in the colder climates here in Florida with the uh, We're on the you know, we're right on the Georgia border. So we get a frost we get a frost here and uh you end up having to cover your plants up when it gets like that and uh these i shouldn't have to so that's why i chose these the trade-off with them is they uh they don't grow as big as some of the other species but um you know i, I think i'll enjoy having these out front um as you'll see i had uh used to have some fountain grass planted here but it wasn't happy here so hopefully these will have a little bit better time but one will go there 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 and then two over here as well so i want to get them planted because it's looking a little plain out front here um so i'm going to work on that today get you guys on a time lapse and uh we'll get to some gardening So you've watched me plant four of these now. I got two to go. Um, I didn't want to bore you with the other two. It's the same process for all of them. A couple tips I wanted to point out though. So when you dig these holes, when you dig any hole for a new plant, what, what I've found works best is dig that hole like three times the size of 
the planter bucket that they come in, those little buckets, you know, dig a lot of dirt out of the hole and put it in your wheelbarrow first. See, I got, I got that much extra dirt from these holes, um, from four holes. So, um, you see the bucket size here? I don't know what these are, maybe one gallon, three gallon up or whatever. I'm not really sure on that, but uh, they're small planters. So anyway, um, dig your hole out big. And then when you get the dirt excavated out of the hole, take your shovel and go in, let me show you. Kind of go in at an angle with your shovel around the hole like this with it upside down. And you, what you're trying to do is get the dirt like fluffy uh, where that root system can grow into the dirt. You and, and then don't pack your dirt in around your plant either. Like leave that, leave that fluffy as well. Cause what you're trying to do is get, get those root bound roots inside of the uh, planters to open up and grow into the new area. And they'll grow into the new area easier if it's, if it's not a lot of resistance, like if it's packed down dirt. So that's why you try to do that. And then um, the other thing is, this is huge too. Like, yes, these need to be watered, but they also need to be fed. Now you don't have to go to the store and buy expensive stuff to feed your plants. What I do with that, I keep a red Folgers can next to my sink. You know, if I eat a banana, the peel goes in the Folgers can. If I crack my eggs in the morning, the shells go in the Folgers can. Um, you got a head of lettuce and you got some left over or it went bad, goes in the Folgers can. Now when that Folgers can's full, I mean, this is really easy. I know it sounds involved, but it's not because I'm telling you I wouldn't do it if it was super involved. That Folgers can fills up, okay? You come out here, it's got the little handle on it. You pop the cap and you just go ahead and dump it on your plants. You see I got eggshells in there there's old banana peels and all that stuff it isn't even spring yet this thing is already budding and it, it's ready to it's ready to come to life right now so that's that's a really good way to to fertilize your soil and to take care of your compost stuff um, and it doesn't stink in the house those Folgers cans are meant to seal that odor in and, and keep it airtight because your coffee grinds will go bad um, if you don't, I'm rambling. Sorry guys. So that's the way to do it. That's the way to fertilize your plants. That's the way to plant your plants. And, um, you know, they, they should be really healthy and happy. This is a, this is a prime example over here. These two weeping bottle brush plants, uh, the two in the planters right here in front of the shop. Now these two plants I got last year, you see, I do the same thing with these. There's eggshells and stuff in there, you know, old banana peels, celery, stuff like that. So these are, I mean, this is me standing in front of them. They gotta be eight, nine feet tall. I bought these last year and I brought them home in the back seat of this car. So they were that small last year. This is a tiny little compact car. And they were in the back seat right there. So they're they're nine feet tall now. So this process works. Of course, you got to keep your watering. You, you got to keep this stuff watered well. Um, same with these banana shrubs. These banana shrubs came home in the back seat of that car as well. Um, you know, and they're they're uh, five, four and a half feet tall probably now. You know, and they they got a big you know. They're flowering nice. They got nice buds on them and stuff. A couple flowers here and there. Um, you know, but they're doing good. We're just coming off of winter. So they're coming back from from getting, getting cold and all that stuff, but they're doing well. So I uh, just wanted to do a little bit of a different video today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take the time and do this kind of stuff. I know I know it always turns into one of those things like I'll get around to it, but I mean, we're just getting into spring for some of you guys up north and stuff like that. You're still waiting a little while on it, but um, get into this stuff. There's no better feeling. I mean, the work that I do in the shop is rewarding and all that stuff, but 
working with the talents that God has given us and, and just just having our hands on things that he created and and you know just enjoying the beauty of them when they grow and stuff like that there's nothing like it so um you guys enjoy god bless y'all and get to some planning